Weather coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Kate McKenna and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. We knew it was going to be cold tonight, and that's exactly what it is. Cold, but it's only going to get colder, and it feels even colder still because of the wind. This is what it looks like right now on the Way 31 Thompson Roofing and Construction Skycam Network. You're still able to see some cloud cover over Gunnersville. Same thing over Huntsville. The clouds will continue to erode a little bit as we go through tonight, and we'll see some sunshine for Friday, but the sunshine is not going to necessarily mean warm temperatures. It may help melt, though, any of that black ice that develops on the pavement. The wind has been helping us today. I know it makes it feel even colder than what's showing up on the thermometer, but the wind has has really worked in our favor to help dry out the pavement from that moisture that we had earlier today. Some rain, a little bit of freezing rain, some drizzle and mist. Well, all of that has been dried out for the most part on area roadways because of this. We've got an eight mile per hour wind in Huntsville and Decatur. It's a 10 mile per hour wind in Fayetteville. As we go through the rest of tonight into tomorrow morning, we keep this very light wind and that is still going to make it feel colder than the actual temperatures. So that's what I mentioned to you earlier. It's still going to hold true for the start of our Friday. The Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network not showing any moisture around the area, but it does show some of that lingering cloud cover starting to break up just a little bit. So as we take a look here at what you can expect tomorrow morning, I think it's easy to say that if you're an iced coffee drinker, tomorrow's not the day. We need hot coffee, maximum warming needed. Hot coffee, hot tea, whatever it may be to keep those hands toasty. You're going to need it because we're talking single digit wind chills. We'll talk about that in just a second. I'll walk you through that part of the forecast, but this is what we've got for that bus stop forecast. Kids need all the layers as long as we don't have school delays or anything like that and everything's going off as normally. Those districts that are still in session, 17 degrees in the morning heading home from school. It's going to be 33 degrees. So we go from being very cold to just plain cold by Friday afternoon. Future radar shows us this that as we go through the rest of tonight into tomorrow morning, we keep that partly cloudy sky, but I told you that the clouds keep breaking up. This data source really wants to hang on to the cloud cover. Finally gets rid of it though for Saturday. Tons of sunshine for Saturday. It's going to be a beautiful day. Very cold start with temperatures in the 20s, but by the afternoon, our highs are in the 50s. The nice weather does not last though. I'll pick back up on that in just a second. Here are your forecast temperatures just area wide walking you through this 19 in Huntsville, 21 in Scottsboro, 18 degrees in Muscle Shoals. And then by the afternoon, I showed you that bus stop forecast to show you that temperatures are going to be near freezing. For most of us, that is the case even during the afternoon hours on Friday. The feels like temperatures when we're factoring in the wind, it's going to be feeling like single digits for many of us. Five in Fayetteville, feeling like seven degrees in Huntsville, Athens, Decatur. This is a good night to drip the faucets, open the cabinets, and let that warm air circulate around your pipes and just make sure that we're taking all of those precautions so we can avoid those burst pipes just for the simple fact that it doesn't really climb very far above freezing for tomorrow after this very cold night. Here's our next chance at some kind of yucky weather. I told you that Saturday is really nice. Here comes the rain. This is six o'clock Sunday morning. This is coming ahead of another cold front. It's not bringing us any big threat for severe weather or anything like that. It just brings rain for most of the day. I got a 100% chance of rain in this forecast. By six o'clock, we start to see some of that rain breaking a little bit, and we're done with this by Monday morning. But that cold front does keep things kind of chilly to start next week. That's after we had a high close to 60 on Sunday with the rain. We're back down close to freezing Monday morning, and then by Monday afternoon, your highs, they're reaching the mid 40s.